time is the most valuable thing that we can sell. And that's basically what we do, but with a premium touch and with the thought of the next generation by building premium lasting electric two wheelers. I would say that the biggest difference between Cake and other brands is that we create products based on sustainability. That we buy a product, a product that should last, a product that should help you with all the different errands that you might have. This might be the commuter going to back and forth to work. It could be the, the bike that you use to go grocery shopping or dropping off your kids at school or whatever it might be. These bikes getting from A to B fast, quickly in this city, that is definitely the solution of micromobility and also where we want to, to gain confidence and find a solution for the people around Los Angeles and any other big city around the world. I never had the dream of, of developing a motorcycling company, but I'm the kind of guy who's actually a motorcycling hater from the beginning. Put my finger up in the air when there's a Ducati passing by in the street because it's, I think it's noisy and it's, it's disturbing. With my previous business, Pock, we exhibited a show in Munich named Ispo, and I ran into an electric motorbike for the first time, and he kind of shouts at me, get me, ride me, get out there in the back country and explore without polluting. So I got one of those bikes and eventually, two summers later, I had 15 different bikes, all electric, at my country house. Since uh, 20 years back, Stefan and I, we know each other. He called me out one day and said, hey, I just uh, founded this company called Cake. And I said, oh wow, you're gonna do uh, cookies? Or what are you gonna do? I was like, no, I'm gonna do electric motorbikes. What's up guys, my name is Elliot Giffis and I'm a local clothing maker in Los Angeles. My focus is uh, motorcycle inspired leather jackets and today I'm on a cake e-bike motorcycle giving a whirl around town. Elliot, stoked to see you at the site. Excited to get you on a cake. Before we let you go, let me just quickly go over the bike with you. Bike is really simple to start. There's a power button here. You just want to make sure the kill switch is connected. Everything's getting power. Just that, give a press of a button there. You have a software pin code, in this case it's 123. Once you get in the display, you have all your speedometer, battery, trip odometer. Main things you want to focus on are these middle two buttons. The first button in the middle here will control your ride mode. There's three different modes, essentially sets your torque and sensitivity to speed. Elliot, I'm stoked for you to go out and give this thing a nice spin. Hope you have fun. I'm Let excited. Know it is after it will five. do. Thank you so much. I'd say that there are four parameters that are more important than anything else in, in, in what we do, which is purpose, innovation, performance, and physical quality. Making sure that we can extend life cycles and uh, serve the market with the most viable and relevant product. It's always making sure that never compromising with what the product is meant to be used for. We are in a position globally where we understand that we need to leave the combustion engines behind and where we are looking at solutions, uh, not only with four wheels, but with two wheels, since we're tired of being stuck in traffic, searching for parking. Cake overall has got a very competitive advantage of that actual design language as, as we speak today. When we showed the bike for the first time, it was at the uh, outdoor retailer show in Denver. I was a bit shy addressing the motorcycling market initially. There's a lot of surprise, the level of performance that we're actually you know, getting to is far beyond their expectations. To some extent, we brought the new style, category, typology to it, because we haven't been burdened or limited by you know, heritage. I totally fell in love with the bike and everything that it gave to me, because I'm kind of a lazy dude, so I'm not that much of like, let's go out and have a run, and let's, let's go out and, and do bike riding and so forth. So when I saw this bike, and when I started riding it, it was an experience that I've never experienced before. Do we care about design? Yes, we do a lot, but we never speak about design internally. The process never starts with you know, a visual proposal. There's an idea, there's a script played between the orchestra, and that's anything from mechanical engineers to electric engineers, software guys, industrial designers and whatnot. That is the process. That is what design is meant to do. Living in an apartment, I can park it inside and charge it and it's super easy. I can pull it in. I don't have to worry about fluids, the smell of like burnt gas. It's just been an absolute breeze to get to know this vehicle. Speaking about connectivity and, and, and smartness, 
all of the bikes are connected. So we can, you know, service the bike at a distance. We can, you know, check out exactly what's going on or what's not going on. I could see where I've been riding and, and how I've been riding. And I can also adjust my different ride modes on the bike. The tech aspects of the bikes that I personally like the most, I would say is knowing where my bike is. So if somebody would potentially steal the bike, I would get a notification. Being able to ride in uh, unique urban areas is something I've always wanted to do on motorcycles, but I don't want to be offensive to anybody. I could zoom around and all you get is smiles. People instantly, they just ask what you're on. They're curious about what the vehicle is. The instant torque is incredible. It's so much more responsible being on this vehicle and just knowing that it's just electric power, I can go home and charge it. Welcome to our showroom, our site here in Los Angeles. This bike is a Kalk. It's where it all started with the Trail Saver tires. Explore with respect, go out and have fun. It's light, it's quiet, it's clean. It's got three different ride modes in terms of how fast you want to go. And it's got three different brake modes so that when you go down the hill, you can use the brake mode so that you actually charge your battery back up. So what we did was actually decide to go street legal. We put on some lights, we put on a license plate, and we made it road legal. And after that, we realized that we need to attract even more people all over it to ride our bikes on the streets, but also off-road. And we also introduced the, the black version called the Calc Inc. When we had the street legal calcs, we realized that <laughs> You wanted to go back on the trails again, but you want a little bit more attitude. You want a little bit more uh, grip. You want a little bit larger sprocket in the back. So we introduced the race uh, series. But let me show you our bike over here, which is the Osa. It was all built on the modularity. So this bike, it comes in two different versions. It's the kind of equivalent to 125 cc with the larger battery. So this bike is perfect. You can go 60 miles per hour. You can do your commuting from PV to here or from Malibu to Venice. And you can still bring your computer. You can bring your skis. You can bring your surfboard or whatever you might want. And then after the Osa that we had over here, we have the Maka, which is a smaller bike, perfect for commuting, also perfect for deliveries. And this bike is so small that you can fit it in an elevator. It's light, you can easily bring the battery with you uh, if you want to take it back up to your office or into your apartment and charge it and so forth. This one comes in two different versions. It's a Maka Range and the Maka Flex. Over here, where you can view a a version of the calc bike that is called the AP, the anti-poaching bike. So where 3% of our revenues go to helping endangered species. What's better than catching the poachers in silence? We have tested this in Africa, so we can be out in the natural parks with these bikes in silence. We can catch the bad guys, they don't hear us coming, and we can have uh, batteries powered by solar power in different areas around the natural park. Here we got the work series. We're looking at them. It's uh, based on the same platforms, the Maka, the Osa, and the Calc. They all have adjusted software. They have larger batteries, and it's made to last even more, if that even is possible. Still with the whole concept of bringing your stuff, charging your tools, it's kind of a huge power bank on wheels. And this one, this is a unique idea because as food deliveries grows all over the world, where actually the heated box in the back is perfect for food or pizza and it runs off the battery of the bike. We have now a product that where we hit the right target audience that are willing to, to view our bikes as not always the second or third choice, but as their first choice of transportation. You need to build bikes at last. And we want to be that company that rather build a long lasting bike at a certain price point. We have a price range from, from 4,200 US dollars to approximately 15,000 US dollars. So would we be the first alternative within the two wheeler EV market? Yeah, for a lot of people, but would we be that for everyone? No, we're not. All of those challenging moments where we can really test product is, is super you know, important to us. 
the colleague of ours, Sienja Gottwal, who is our business to business sales manager for Germany. She said, hey, Stefan, I have this idea of actually riding an electric motorcycle from Barcelona to Cape Town. What, what's your take on that? I told her, you, you stay on the payroll, you make that happen because the experience from that is going to pay off like nothing else. If you would have asked me two years ago, I wouldn't even think about using our bikes to, to do anti-poaching and protecting endangered species in Africa. And I would definitely not think that I would be riding around just for the fun of it without feeling guilty. I think one of the big surprises I didn't really think about when I first entered in this journey with Cake was how quiet it was and the potential wins with that. I have a very sensitive puppy and the beauty of Cake is since it's silent, I've been able to actually ride with him a little bit. Besides just being the cutest thing, it's just such a rad feeling to be able to ride with my little guy. I don't think I'm completely ready to trade my motorcycle all the way for an e-bike, but in addition to, I think would be my best conclusion to that. This is the perfect step into the future. People ask me, so are you selling electric bikes? And I'm like, yeah, maybe in one way, but what we do is we sell time. In California and especially in, in LA, I think time is what most people would want. So if we can give them another 15 minutes with the family in the evening, or if we can get them to work a little bit more, if that's what you want to do, I think time is the most valuable thing that we can sell. And that's basically what we do. On that collective road going forward, the more people that we can engage doing different things but pointing towards the same direction, which is pretty much changing the pace that we've been following for the past 100 years, that's my utopia. Feel free, come in, let's test ride some bikes because when you've been on the bikes, it's a whole different thing. When you've ridden them, when you felt the wind without hearing the noise, it's an amazing feeling and it's going to change your life in one way or another, I'll guarantee you of that. So check it out.